Life can be full of adversities and struggles, which we always strive to conquer. Sometimes we may steer away from our passions and dreams, out of our desperation to succeed. But there are also instances when we take time to reflect and ponder on our mistakes. Most often we consider our mistakes as outright failures, a reflection of our incapacity to do things. We often feel discouraged whenever we encounter roadblocks to our destination, which leave us feeling inferior and makes us think we can no longer move forward. In this book, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, we're presented with the idea that perhaps it's not our mistakes that hinder us from achieving our goals. Maybe it's our ego. The book redirects us to a different manner of attaining success, one that's built on a solid and genuine trust and confidence in one's strengths and abilities. Here are the seven lessons from the book, Ego is the Enemy. Lesson 1. Acknowledge Imperfection Nobody's born perfect. This is a fact that we should always put in mind. Sure, it's good to aim for perfection in everything that we do, but we should also leave room for possible mistakes and blunders. If we obsess with perfection all the time, we surely will get paralyzed whenever things don't go our way. Holiday reminds us that no matter how keen we may be in all of our moves every step of the way, it's still possible to commit mistakes. But this is okay since we could not continually improve ourselves if we do not acknowledge our weaknesses. If we're driven with the pride that we always do all our tasks perfectly, we might just push ourselves in a quicksand that will slowly swallow us into nothing. Lesson 2. Swallow Your Pride Yes, we may be unique in our own special ways, but for sure the world does not revolve around us. At work, for instance, it does not really matter if we give our extra time, energy, and effort just to prove to our boss that we can be the best among the rest, because at the end of the day, we're still compensated according to our monthly salary. Hard work is good, but we should not be a workaholic just to prove our worth. Having too much pride may lead to arrogance, which will then cause us more failures. Remember that there are always people who are better than us. Instead of seeing them as competition, we could use them as our inspiration or source of new information, which will help us improve ourselves and be like them in the future. Lesson 3. Be Purpose Driven A lot of inspirational books zero in on the importance of finding one's passion, but in this book, Holiday teaches us not to be driven by our passion, because this passion may not be dependable. He reminds us to do things with purpose rather than with passion because there are things that we might be passionate about in the beginning, but eventually we may lose our interest in the end. However, if we do things with purpose, we tend to be more invested with the work because we focus on the result in everything that we do. Committing to a greater purpose and giving up our ego will lead us to being a better person and allow us to carve out our own success. Lesson 4. Trample Arrogance Our ego might be the silent voice that whispers to us that we're the best and that no one can defeat us. This may soothe our confidence and pride, but this can also kill our kindness, humility, and self-awareness. Holiday reminds us that we can be successful without everybody knowing about it, and that we can still find our worth even without promoting or advertising ourselves to others. Too much self-pride may get us to think that we're always on top, and that people around us are way behind our skills and abilities. Remember that success does not only count on how many achievements and awards we have, but also measures the inspiration and knowledge we have shared to others. This reflects true humility and kindness. Lesson 5. Listen and learn from others. If you think that we're more knowledgeable than others, and if we only allow ourselves to talk without listening to them, then we're not intelligent at all. Holiday instructs us to listen to other people's voice. It means that we should acknowledge that we don't hold all the information, and that there are things that others know about and which we could learn from. Learning about the experiences of other people will allow us to gain more expertise. These are experiences that we could not necessarily read about in books or from the internet, but can only be discovered when we listen to others. Lesson 6. Practice being resilient. Success can't be defined without failures. We could not appreciate the feeling of sweet success without experiencing failures along the way. Thus, we should not be scared with committing mistakes, but instead, we could use these to discover and show our strengths. Remember, it's only our ego deceiving us that we're a loser. We're actually stronger than our failures and weaknesses, so we shouldn't doubt ourselves that we can do better. We can be that person we desire to be if we just set our purpose on it. Acknowledging our failures is not a sign of defeat, but a stepping stone to move forward and win our battles in the next round. Lesson 7. Let love be your lighthouse. Hate can make us blind. Sometimes hate doesn't allow us to see greater things hidden behind our adversities. The book encourages us to learn to love something we don't like because it's the best weapon to defeat the attack of hate. Hate could paralyze us from thinking properly and to continue doing good. Hate can tarnish our relationships, success, and kindness, so we should let love guide the way, one that's selfless, open, positive, and productive. In conclusion, this book opens us up to a different perspective of attaining success. It magnifies important virtues of a successful person through aspirations, purpose, humility, and love. It reminds us that although we should rely on ourselves in attaining our goals, too much reliance on oneself can at times backfire. 
We should listen carefully to what our inner voice tells us and be quick to confront it when it tears us down instead of building us up. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.